ako ha. Ito po sa'yo dito. Ano yan? Video copy na. Hello everyone! Ha? Talaga namang napaka-early ni Fernal. Di po ako makapasok. Ay, ganun. Why? Where are the others? Okay, waiting na kami. Where are the others? Kahit konti lang tayo, I will start the lecture at exactly uh, 3.30. So, that is to give others para makapasok. For the meantime, you type your name so I can mention your name. Oh, hello Kai! Kaanyag. Oh, talaga namang kung maanyag. Hello din kay Mark Leo. Hey, Jovan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kumusta naman kayo? It's still maulan in Puerto Princesa. Hello to Alexis Jean. Please chat your classmates that we are live now and we'll start in 12 minutes. We will have an activity later that would need a stable internet connection. So please find a good spot. <laughs> yes. Maulang hapon sa inyong tanan from Mark Leo. Hi, sana naman makapasok na yung iba para hindi sayang ang ating lecture. Pinaghandaan ko pa man ito. <laughs> Maiksi lang. Ang ating lecture this afternoon probably would be around one hour. Hello kay Queen. Let's just wait for others. Chat nyo na sila. Sabihin nyo nag-start na tayo. Or invite your friends. <laughs> Ayaw nila ng price. Uy, pangkatuwaan lang naman yung price. But then, the learning is the most important. But, Price is good. Hey, hello kay Charlene. Hello kay Ivan Ray. Hello din kay Jin Jin. Sino pa ba mga nandyan? Message your name now. Hmm, let's 
just wait for others while uh, naghihintay tayo. Pwede kayong mag-chat ng mga messages so I can read them. We still have 9 minutes. Hello, good afternoon. Can everyone hear me okay? Maliwanag ba ang dating ko sa inyo? Maliwanag ba ang aking boses? Naiintindihan ba? Hello din kay Giselle. Yes po. Why are you joining, Jovan? Di ba tapos ka na ng ecology? Fourth year ka na eh. Ang ecology ay uh, second year pa. Hello din kay Annalie de la Cruz. Kay John Kian. Ashley. <laughs> Haba na nga pangalan. Sige. Okay, sabi na sa iba, to come. Eight minutes to go. Oh, okay lang, Queen. Wow, nagpapavaccine si Queen. Sige, okay lang yan. Pag mag-leave, pagkatapos ng bakuna, balik lang uli. You can also, you can enter again. That's okay. Para maabot mo yung ating activity sa end. Para may pa-price. Hello din kay Mark Daven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Stay safe. JV, hello, good afternoon. We're starting in 7 minutes. Our topic today is ecosystems and productivity. Very basic topic, but um, it will be good if we can have a lecture on this. Diba, madami naman akong estudyante sa ecology. Nasaan na yung iba? Oh, nakapasok ka na, Fernald. Hello, hello. Yes. God bless you all. Thank you for joining. Sige lang, wait lang tayo ng konti ha. Type lang kayo ng type o maka may gusto pa kayong mga ipabati dyan. Kain, kain ako, ako nga lang ang ulam. Ay, ano? Kain ako nga lang ang ulam. <laughs> ah. Wala kang Gcash? Okay lang, di load. Oh. Load, load. Basta kailangan manalo muna ha, Mark? We will have two fun activities later. Anyone? Queen, dahil ikaw ay nasa vaccination area, ishare mo ang ating lecture sa iyong katabi. <laughs> Para matuto din siya ng ecosystems and productivity. Oh, sabi ni Jinjin, Jin, pag nanalo ka daw, Mark, sa Gcash niya na lang daw ipasend mo. Oh. Walang charot-charot. Kailangan manalo. Pag manalo, may Gcash. 
Hindi naman malaki, pero it's fun. It's fun and uh, makakalearn ka pa. Four minutes. And we will start. Shout out kay Ivan Ray from John Kian Ashley Salanga. Wow. Wow. Yes, kahit di manalo, basta may live. At natuto ka pa, di ba, Mark? Sana, ma'am, sana naman po, manalo na ako. <laughs> Go! Dapat manalo na talaga. Kasi ito ay subject na talaga yun ninyo. So, you know, makinig ng maayo sa lecture. Nasa lecture lang naman lahat. Hello kay Jude. Hello din kay Najmia. Yan. Sige pa, invite more. So, a lot of us will learn together this afternoon. We will go, or we will, we will start our lecture in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Hanap na kayo na maganda-ganda connection so that we'll have fun playing later. Alam nyo itong, ano, laro na gagawin, hindi. Yung ating activity na gagawin mamaya, natutunan ko ito sa aking grade 1 na anak. O, oh, diba? Buti pa sila. So, 14 concurrent viewers. O, oh, nasaw na yung iba. Di pa parang 20, almost 30 kayo? Masama ba ang panahon? Wala bang signal? Kung may mga katabi kayong kaklase dyan, itype nyo lang din ang pangalan nila para at least alam kong ano. JV, nasa work ako. Ho, ho. O, sige lang, kahit na nasa work ka. Eh, pakita ang pag, ano, pag sinita ka ng manager, pakita mo lang sa kanya na ano, na sabi mo sa kanya, sabi ni ma, mag-join daw siya. Ay, mag-join ka. Okay lang yan. At least, di ba, oh, you're still tuning in kahit na ikaw ay nasa work. We're going, we're starting our lecture in two minutes. Come on. Chat others. Uh, para makapasok na sila. One minute. Sige, type lang kayo ha. Pagkatapos, if you have questions, you also type your questions in our chat box. And I can still uh, browse that later. So we can answer at the end of our lecture. Ready with your pen and your notes. So you can take down notes while I do the, the lecture. This lecture somehow covers module 1 and module 2. Pero konti lang sa module 1. Mas marami sa module 2. Okay? So Mag-take note kayo. Or just tune in. I mean, makinig lang na maayos. Hindi na kailangan mag-take note. Kasi pwede nyo naman tong balikan ng lecture. Intindihin, memorizing. And uh, you you better brace yourself. Wow. <laughs> brace yourself talaga. Okay, so, it's uh, 3.30. We'll start. Uh, I will start the lecture. So, let others catch up na lang later. So, our topic today, class, is ecosystems and productivity. We'll start first by looking at the levels of organization in nature. So, you can see that uh, we start with the individual, so individual organism, whether that's a fish, that's an um, uh, a mammal, a bird, whatsoever, no, but an individual. And then, lots of that individual or the number you know, of members of that individual we call the population. 
when this population interacts with other population and other uh, groups in a particular area, we call that a community. So, our focus actually is more on the ecosystem. We will define the ecosystem later. And of course, a bigger perspective of that would be the biome. And the totality would be called the biosphere. So, from the individual, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere, this is in an increasing level of organization. So, what is an ecosystem? So, an ecosystem is a community of organisms involved in a dynamic network of biological, chemical, and physical interactions between themselves and, well, other components, including the non-living. So, pwede siyang interaction with other living or the biotic factors and interaction with other non-living portion, <laughs> portion and non-living components such as the chemical and the physical characteristics of um, the area. And because of that, the interactions, uh, that would actually sustain the system and allow it to respond to changing conditions. So, di ba? Uh, changing conditions. There are changing climate, uh, changing date, day, day Ang tawag dito? Yung sa day. Halimbawa, in the morning, at noon time, in the evening. So, intensity of light. Diba? Nagbabago. Um, ano pa ba ibang nag-change? Nag-change ang um, season. So, this will allow um, response to these different conditions. Yung itong tinatawag natin na interaction. So, thus, an ecosystem includes the community, the non-living components, and their interactions. The sum total of the, all the ecosystems, they are called the biosphere. So, which includes all this, the Earth's living organisms interacting with the physical environment as a whole to maintain a steady state ecosystem. When I say a steady state ecosystem, it means stable ecosystem. So, let's go to biome. Ito, ito kasi yung lecture na to. This is a bit of the module one. So, I'm just uh, passing through it. Biomes are massive ecological areas on Earth's surface. Well, fauna and flora adapting to their environment. So, bali ang nagdi-define ng biome ay plants, animals, and the abiotic factors, kagaya ng temperature, climate, relief, geology, soils, and vegetation. So, uh, actually, ang vegetation naman, hindi abiotic, no? Ang vegetation that pertains to plants, uh, biotic factors na yan. So, that's correction. One of the types of the biomes that we have is the desert biome. This is the driest of all the biomes. So, what do you usually see in uh, desert? Very dry, um, sandy area. A few plants grow, such as those with succulent stem and leaves like the cactus. No, that's the desert. Example here, what you can see in our photo is the Sahara Desert. Another type of biome is uh, what we call collectively as aquatic biome. In the aquatic biome, you can have either the marine or the fresh water. So what you have in here at the left is the marine aquatic biome. This is actually a coral ecosystem no, showing all the components interacting with each other. And on the right side is a fresh water biome. No. So, mga rivers, uh, freshwater lakes, creeks, and so on. Yan yung ating mga aquatic biomes. Next, we have naman the forest biome. Here is the temperate deciduous forest, a type of biome that shed off leaves during autumn. Napakaganda. It changes the color of the leaves from 
uh, green sa spring, green siya. Tapos, as it goes to autumn, nagiging yellowish, nagiging orange, nagiging red. Super ganda ang autumn no, in other countries. Of course, the tropical rainforest. So, we have here in the Philippines, tropical rainforest. One of the richest forest biomes. Um, just like the Amazon tropical rainforest. And of course, the taiga or the boreal forest composed with coniferous forest. Sometimes ang tawag dito ay parang coniferous forest with the conifers, pine trees, etc. They are evergreen. They do not shed off leaves. They do not change color. So they are evergreen. Yan. So these are forest biomes. Another is the grassland biome. So first, we have here the savanna. Ang savanna familiar kayo. This is where you can see lots of different animals with the characteristics of uh, parang mas marami ang grassland, may konting trees, but uh, it's always characterized by lots and lots of different animals. And syempre, you have the steeps, uh, kind of grassland transition going to mountainous area in a very cold place. As you can see, those mountains are full of snow, Ah, uh, ini-imagine ko pa lang ang lamig-lamig dyan. No? And of course, the prairies. Yan. Napakaganda. So, sa prairies din, marami mga grazers. And we also have the tundra biomes. Ito naman is characterized by, remember this, permafrost environment, almost permanently frozen the whole year round. Very few trees grow. Halos wala, no, halos kahit grass, halos wala nang gustong tumubo sa area na to. So, these are in uh, mga polar regions. You see the tundra biomes. So, these are our examples of biomes. So, what are the different interactions in a community? So, as I mentioned earlier, in a community, organisms interact with each other. They also interact with their environment. They also interact with other non-living components. So, they are linked. No? They are a network. So, what are the different interactions? You are familiar with this. For example, predation and herbivory. So, ito siya, one-sided ito na relationship. One is uh, affected and one is benefited. For example, here, a kingfisher feeding on a pond. So, yan, this one is a kingfisher that has caught a fish. And then, uh, another is uh, pwede din yung another kind of predation na matatawag. Pero hindi naman siya masyadong predation talaga. Kasi pag predation, parang it's the tendency of eating and being eaten. So, bigger animal would eat the smaller one. Yung herbivory naman, this one is when animal species or an insect would eat a plant. No, so, direct, directly eating the producer plant not just like what you can see here in our photo a giraffe eating a plant and an insect also eating a leaf this is what we call herbivory and the next competition so when two organisms occupy the same habitat and they occupy the same niche ano yun yung habitat lugar yung niche function nila doon sa habitat. For example, kung nilagay mo sa isang fish pond ang tilapia at saka bangos, competition yung relationship doon kasi mag-compete sila in the same resources. Kung uh, nilagay mo sa area, sa isang area, ang dalawang klase ng animal na hindi nagpe-prey on each other but they use the same uh, Resource, salimbawa, grazer yan sila. Nilagay mo kalabaw, tapos baka, in one grassland. So, they will compete also in the resources na nandoon. So, we call that competition. But, one way of overcoming this competition is what we call the resource partitioning. Example here is, itong tinatawag natin na anole lizard. So, in the island of Puerto Rico, the, very good talaga sila na example ng resource partitioning kasi iba't-ibang species ng anole lizard nag-develop siya ng kanyang parang adaptation 
para hindi siya mag-compete with one particular species. So, for example, yung uh, ponsensis here, dito siya sa ibaba. Yung parang more on uh, understory siya, no? So, ang Kruge, iba din ang kanyang resources. No, itong mga Cristatelus, na bulol eh. And then, yung uh, Gondolachi, whatever, hindi ko na-research kung paano pinapronounce ito. Um, but anyway, nakikita nyo na may iba't ibang position sila. Depende sa amount ng shade at saka sa amount ng moisture. So, papunta dito sa kabila, shady siya, mas mataas ang moisture. Papunta sa kabila, sunny siya, mas dry. So, nakikita mo na iba't iba ang lugar na ino-occupy nitong anul lizard para hindi mag-compete with other uh, species in the same genus. Yeah. So, next. Symbiosis. Symbiotic relationships are close, long-term interactions between individuals of different species. Symbiosis may be commensal or mutualistic or parasitic. No, pwede yan. So, ano example natin? Hair. For example, sa mutualism, you are familiar with Nemo. No, the cutie pie Nemo. Nemo or the clownfish. And of course, the sea anemone. So, itong uh, sponge or the sea anemone, and nandimo, they are actually mutually benefited. If they are separated, neither can survive. Another example naman is yung commensalism. Here is an example of commensalism. Three frogs uh, use plants as protection. Hindi niya kinakain ang, ang plant, nakikitago lang siya. No, so, hindi na-harm yung plant pero nag-benefit yung frog kasi meron siyang shelter. That's commensalism. Here, uh, the next picture is cattle egrets eat the insects stirred up by cattle when they are grazing. Niisip natin minsan parang symbiosis din ito. As, I mean, mutualism kasi parang siyempre nag-benefit din ng kalabaw kasi ay yung cattle kasi nabawasan yung kanilang parasites. Pero, this is not an obligatory mutualistic relationship. So, it can be considered commensal relationship. And then, of course, golden jackals. Once they have been expelled from a pack, they will trail a tiger to feed on the remains. Hindi siya, hindi siya nag-hunt ng ibang animal. Hindi rin siya nakikipag-away sa tiger. Nagihihintay lang siya matapos kumain yung tiger at yung maiwan, yun ang kakainin niya. So, those are examples. And then, so now let's proceed to productivity. So, productivity is our main topic actually because this is now our module 2. And, okay. So, productivity is the rate at which energy is converted to organic substance. Dalawang paraan. One is photoautotrophs and another is chemoautotrophs. Photoautotrophs means that they use sunlight primarily as the source of energy. So, sunlight na ang use of energy nila. And then, kagaya lang ng plants at terrestrial and plankton sa ating aquatic environment. Tapos, chemosynthetic naman, usually this is uh, found in extreme uh, environments, kagaya ng mga volcanic area, deep sea vents. So, makikita mo, bacteria at are chemosynthetic in this area where they can convert energy uh, stored in sulfur compounds. So, they convert it to carbon dioxide and other inorganic compounds. So, uh, primary productivity can either be gross primary activity, uh, productivity, or, pri or net primary productivity. So, pag GPP, this is the total amount. Now, the total amount of carbon dioxide that is fixed, the total amount of chemical energy produced doon ng plants or ng any autotrophs ng plankton. So, basta total amount. Pag net primary productivity na, you get your GPP, ibabawas mo ang iyong respiration. So, how much energy was used up 
during respiration. That's how much you would deduct from the GPP so that you will get your NPP or the net primary productivity. Ang respiration shock class is actually uh, the use of carbon dioxide or loss ng carbon dioxide during metabolic process. So, remember ha, GPP, tapos yun yung gross amount or total amount. Yung NPP or net primary productivity is gross primary productivity minus respiration. Ano naman ang secondary productivity? So, secondary production is the gain in biomass or reproduction of heterotrophs and decomposers. So, yan yung prime, uh, secondary productivity. Kapag tayo, kumain tayo ng uh, gulay, prutas, etc. Tapos, nagkaroon ng gain sa biomass natin, sa timbang natin, sa dami ng component ng matter in us. That's called secondary productivity. O, pero huwag niyong sobrahan ang secondary productivity, ha? Kasi pag sumobra yan, hindi maraming bells. Bell bells. <laughs> yan. So, the rates of secondary production, as uh, we will see in a coming lecture, are very much lower than the rates of primary product productivity or primary production. Okay. So, are you still there? Are you still watching? Hmm? Okay, I hope you are. Okay, next tayo. So, these are the different types of primary producers. The terrestrial plants, of course, you have the trees, the grasses, the shrubs. Yan yung ating pinaka uh, visible na mga producers. Pero syempre, marami pa yan. Yung mga mosses, yung mga naka-attach lang sa mga trunk, etc. So, basta green, green, green grass of home now. <laughs> basta green uh, photoautotrophs. And then, of course, the algae. The diatoms and the seaweed. Uh, yung plants na nandito, kasama dito plus yung seagrass that we can find in aquatic environment. No? So, also, you have the plants, the algae, and the bacteria. These are the cyano and, cyanobacteria and the purple bacteria. These are aquatic and terrestrial microorganisms which are photosynthetic and chemosynthetic bacteria. So, basta producer, meron talagang kasama parati na synthesis, no production. Pwedeng photo or pwedeng chemosynthesis. Next, this is the flow of energy to higher trophic levels. So, kung titignan natin, you start at the base. No? These are the producers. The plants, the plankton, the seaweed, the algae, the um, sea grasses. Yan. Primary producers are those that directly consume the primary producers. Yan. So, yan ang primary consumers. Ang, primary, ang secondary consumers naman, ito yung kumakain ng primary consumers. Ang tertiary consumers, kumakain ng secondary consumers, etc. So, papunta na tayo doon sa mga decomposers. Next. This picture here actually shows the flow of energy to higher trophic levels. We call this food web. When food chains become interlacing, interconnecting, interlocking, ano pa mga inter-inter yan, ah, uh, Ang tawag natin dyan ay food web. So, very complicated food web, but it simply tells us that a lot of animals, plants, and living beings are interconnected. Next. This one is what we call the thumb rule or the 10% rule in the energy transfer. So, this is our energy pyramid. No, gaano karami ang energy as you go up to the peak of the pyramid. So, the base of the pyramid here are actually the primary producers. Ito yung mga nagpo-produce through light and through chemicals. Light energy or chemosynthesis. So, dito malaki ang energy. Pero pag kinain na sila ng primary consumers, nagkakaroon ng deduction. And what retains ay 10% lang. So, kung 20,000 kilocalories per square meter, 
per year ang nagigain na energy ng primary producers. Pagdating ng second ng primary consumers, ito ay magiging 2,000 kilocalories per square meter per year na lang. And as it goes up, it loses uh, more and more energy. So, 10% na ang naiiwan. So, sa secondary consumers, 200 kilocalories per square meter per year na lang. Tertiary, 20 na lang hanggang sa quaternary, 2 kilocalories na lang. So, dapat huwag kang mag-occupy ng traffic level doon sa pinakamataas. Dito ka sa pinaka ibaba. So, primary consumers. So, kumain ng gulay, kumain ng prutas. So, ba? That's a very good example. Next, we have our ecological pyramids here. So, first, we have the biomass pyramid, both in aquatic and terrestrial ecosystem. So, very similar to what I already have discussed. In the biomass pyramid, there is still a decreasing biomass as it goes to the peak of the pyramid. So, pabawas ng pabawas ang amount ng energy. So, Biomass pyramids represent the amount of energy that's stored in living tissue at different trophic levels. So, unlike energy pyramids, biomass pyramids show how much biomass is present in a level, not the rate at which it's added. So, biomass at a given step within a food chain will always be smaller than the one that is in the previous step. So, still, the rule applies that energy is lost as it transfers from one trophic level to another. Okay. And then, we go to energy pyramid. So, here naman in the energy pyramid, usually that this one uh, show rates of energy flow through trophic levels. Not absolute amounts of energy stored. So, it can have energy units such as kilocalorie per square meter per year or biomass units such as gram per square meter per year. So, pwede siyang energy, pwede biomass. So, parang timbang, weight. No? Ayan. So, from the tertiary consumer down to the secondary consumer, then the primary consumer, and then to the primary producer, the energy increases. Okay. Ang number pyramid naman, this show how many individual organisms are there in each trophic level. So, ano naman na nakikita natin dito? So, still, uh, decreasing pa rin tayo the same pyramid. Ano? Decreasing tayo sa grassland. Example, Marami ang grass, mas konti ang herbivorous insects, kaso mas marami ang mga predatory insects and the bird. So, yan, it's a grassland. So, pwedeng mag-iba-iba. It can be upright, it can be invented, and it can be uh, kind of lumpy depending on the ecosystem. So, pag temperate forest naman, medyo lumpy, ano? Uh, ang producers ay konti, say, sabihin natin, for every 200 trees, meron 150,000 herbivorous insects, 120,000 predatory insects, but nag sila doon sa middle, sa primary consumer at saka secondary consumer. So, may mga lumpy na klase ng number, pyramid. Next, what are the different factors affecting productivity? First is the solar radiation and light penetration. So, nakikita nyo dito, no? Kasi kapag sinabi natin na productivity, pag primary productivity, synthesis. So, kapag ka primarily kasi, itong productivity talaga nag-depend siya sa sun. Kapag ka walang sun sunlight penetration, that decreases productivity. So, if it is in the ocean zones, Ocean light zones has higher productivity compared to euphotic zone, dysphotic zone, and aphotic zone. So, pababa ng pababa. Although, we have to admit that in aphotic zone, meron pa rin namang productivity as there are uh, chemosynthetic microorganisms. Pero, what is that compared to the productivity that our, for example, the plankton, the seagrass, and the seaweeds are contributing? 
So, tandaan lang, it can be affected by solar radiation and light penetration. Meron tayong tinatawag na zonation. Zones. Next, nutrient availability. Autotrophs like plants use inorganic compounds containing nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, silicon, and iron to build organic molecules. So, nitrogen and phosphorus are particularly important because they are required in large quantities and play critical role in growth and reproduction. So, as you can see in this figure, here, this is a nutrient-sufficient condition. Kasi maraming nutrient, hindi na kailangan humaba ng mga ugat para makapag sub, uh, ano tawag dito, maka-acquire ng nutrients from nearby places. Dito naman sa right side na to, nutrient deficient siya, kaya kailangan yung lateral roots niya ay maghaba para ma-reach niya yung sources ng nutrients. No? Inhibition, dito naman, hindi na masyado nag-ilunggate pababa kasi usually to going downwards, um, that area there is a nutrient uh, deficient condition. So, dito siya mag-spread. No? Kasi dito usually, from topsoil, subsoil, etc. Nandiyan yung pinakamaraming uh, nutrients. Next, geographic variation. Higher chlorophyll concentrations and in general, higher productivity are observed on the equator. Dito, kagaya sa atin, yung ating country, the Philippines, is very near the equator. So, uh, mas marami ang productive, mas mataas ang productivity. So, a major driver of these patterns is the upwelling or mixing of high nutrient subsurface water into the euphotic zone as is evident from surface nutrient measurements. Satellites can measure the color of the surface ocean in order to track the concentration of the green pigment chlorophyll. Ito siya class, uh, ang tawag sa measurement na to ay remote sensing. Kagaya nito. Uh, this is a picture that shows uh, productivity. So, yung Yung color niya, yung mga greenish-greenish that sa land, no? That's maximum. Pag sa... Uh -huh, ito yung dito sa baba, no? Ito yung ating minimum and maximum. Itong land vegetation index. Yung ocean naman, dito yung chlorophyll A concentration. So, increasing siya as... Uh, you go higher to the color dito sa mga red na ito. So, this is the global oceanic and terrestrial photo autotroph abundance from 1997 to 2000. I'll show you later on another interactive um, video that shows productivity from anong year ba yun? Parang until 2013. Wala pa akong nakita medyo bago. And then another that would affect is yung tinatawag natin na seasonality. Seasonal changes in primary production are due to a combination of the available uh, of the availability of light and nutrients. So, itong thermocline na tinatawag natin, ito yung uh, region in the water column where there is a dramatic change in temperature over a small change in the depth. If you notice, parang karamihan sa mga examples na binibigay natin ay medyo aquatic. So, it's just because uh, you are taking up BS Aquatic Biology, kaya medyo more on aquat ka mga samples natin. So, seasonality in productivity is greatest at high latitudes driven by the availability of light. So, yung mga malapit sa polar region, especially during the month of May, June, July, August. Ito ang pinaka-peak ng summer. Uh, when I was studying in Japan, Isa to sa mga panahon na pinaka-ayaw ko kasi ang init-init, ang humid-humid. Yung mga bandang July and August, mainit talaga yan. So, sa tropical country, hindi masyado nagbabago. Parang all year round, ba dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, parang hindi naman masyado nagbabago ang temperature, ang intensity ng light, all throughout from January to December, except na may konting-konting fluctuation during, halimbawa, mga December, January, kasi mas mahaba ang night time kaysa sa daytime. Sa temperate countries, ganun din. No? Nag-change siya. Uh, mas mataas ang productivity during 
winter, itong February, March, April, kasi nga, konti ang consumption. No? Pag during dito sa time naman ng, ano, ng May, uh, May, June, July, kasi ito, halos nabubuhay dito yung mga organisms, kaya mas marami ang nagkukonsume. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina na net primary productivity starting from February 2000 to 2013, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, watch closely as primary productivity changes. When you see those greenish, intense green, that could be the highest uh, gross productivity per uh, square meter per day. Per day. Okay? Yan. So, you can see that everything changes every day. Napakaganda kasi it can be captured by our satellites through remote sensing. This is one of the study areas that is good to really explore kasi um, we can, you can generate lots and lots of data possible in this. So, until December 2013, Kalesha. Yeah. So, that's an example of net primary productivity. Now, um, just would like to tackle a little bit on this special topic, the harmful algal bloom. Kasi ang topic natin is primary production. So, pag primary production kasi gusto natin parati marami, gusto natin parati plentiful. So, primary production provides plentiful food sources for ocean consumers. So, high abundance of phytoplankton is a good thing, right? Parang iniisip natin kapag marami kasi di ba plankton, sila uh, primarily of course phytoplanktons, they are the great producers or they are the, the uh, source of primary productivity in the ocean. In fact, if you look into uh, lots of review of related literature, you will see that the portion by which uh, plankton or the ocean contributes to the global sink of carbon and itong productivity nga napakataas kumpara sa uh, contribution ng trees or ng terrestrial kasi syempre nga naman mas marami naman talaga uh, mas malawak naman talaga ang ating ocean kesa sa uh, land area na no. So, ito, balikan natin itong picture na to. So, high abundance of phytoplankton is always a good thing. Totoo ba yun? So, as in many other cases, too much of a good thing can sometimes be dangerous. So, an overabundance of dinoflagellates or diatoms, ito sila ay uh, tinatawag natin harmful alga, algal bloom. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na red tide. So, you can see this one, a literal red tide. Red because... These mic uh, microorganisms or these algae are actually producing red pigment. So it's not good because this could cause toxin, this could cause poisoning to aquatic animals, to aquatic organisms, and also to those who will consume those organisms. Kaya nagkakaroon minsan ng tinatawag na food poisoning. Pagdating sa atin. So, makikita mo kapag may alert na ng red tide sa Puerto Bay, sa Taytay, sa mga areas here in Palawan, um, wala na nagtitinda ng seafood, ng seashells sa palengke. No? And um, next is, hubs can occur for a number of reasons. So, paano ba nagkakaroon ng hubs? Pa paano ba ito nangyayari? Um, isa lang talaga ang tumbok nito, no? Mostly, algal blooms form because of um, the different runoff from terrestrial environment. So, when there is excessive or overabundance of nutrients in the environment, when it rains, all of these go to the ocean. And that would contribute to... Um, uh, ano tawag dito? Bloom. Kasi dahil dadali niya doon sa ocean ang, ang maraming food para sa algae. Kagaya lang halimbawa ng phosphate. No? Pag maraming phosphorus talaga yan, lalo na halimbawa mga galing sa fertilizer sa 
agriculture, land, o galing yan sa mga factories, etc. Wastewater. Pag napunta yan siya sa ocean, that would become food for the algae and that would lead to a bloom. So, this algal bloom can contaminate drinking water. This can also uh, cause some noxious um, uh, smell or th this can actually cause some contamination in food. So, contaminated fish, contaminated seafood that can cause illness or this can actually harm the recreational water. So, eh, hindi mo napapayagan siyempre na lumangoy-langoy pa doon yung tao kapag ka mayroong red tide because, you know, accidentally it will be swallowed or it will go through the nose. So, it can cause um, sickness. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Now, it's um, uh, time for me to entertain questions. So, if there's anyone who would like to ask questions, Kindly type in our live, live chat. Okay? So, any question? I'm waiting for your question before I start with our activity. Do you have any clarification, any addition, anything at all? Mm. Mm. So, ang konti lang natin, no? Mukhang marami nga hindi nakapasok. Pre Jude said, no ma'am, walang question. Yung iba baka meron. We still have, we have plenty of time. Kasi medyo iniksian ko lang naman ang ating lecture. Para pwede kayong magtanong ng marami rin. Sino ba mga hindi ko na ano kanina? So, we have mga bagong pasok. Wala na rin. Oh, we have Rialin. Ignacio Rialin. We have also Mark Klein. And then Anali. Oh, Anong tawag ko na si Anali kanina? Si Giselle, ganun din. Jin Jin. Sino pa? Hindi ko mga natawag. Okay, question. From Queen. Ma'am, may nabasa po ako regarding diatoms. Their cells are made up of silica plates. May connection po ba yung silica plates kung bakit nagkakaroon ng serious kung, uh, ng ano yan? Ito lang. Ha? Ng serious concern. Aha, uh -huh. diatoms, uh, may silica plates. Yung, lang ha, ay, wait lang. Okay, so, you are correct that most of uh, the diatoms contain within a unique silica cell wall, silica plates or yung parang pinaka cell wall nila. Um, pero yung silica, yung cell wall na yun, silica lang yung kanyang parang pinaka component. Pero yung concern kasi talaga is the toxin that it produces. So for example, one of the most common diatom that causes the red tide nasa uh, manual ninyo is yung halimbawa uh, hindi ba meron tayo sa ano dito sa Pilipinas yung uh, dinoflagellates na maalala. Pero basta marami kasi tayong mga ano, uh, species na nagkukos ng red tide, kagaya lang ng mga Alexandrio, um, yung Gonyolax, Gonyolax Catalina, uh, yung 
Gymnodinium. Magre-reply ako ng ating ano. ng chat. Okay. So, ang tanong mo naman is more on the concern. So, actually, hindi. Hindi, hindi yung, ano na yun, hindi yung silica plates, but it's more on what it produces. The toxin, actually, it is a neurotoxin eh, that uh, causes, that can cause actually paralysis. So, pag madaming-madami na sila. Kasi kapag ka, uh, Kapag kakonti lang naman sila, hindi siya masyadong ramdam kasi uh, other organisms would have also its own mechanism of uh, somehow removing the toxin. The problem is kapag sobrang madami. So, it would really affect. Kasi karamihan sa ating organisms, like yung mga seashells, seafoods, ganyan, they are filter feeders. So, they filter water and Uh, with that, they can also filter and ingest this uh, diatom, not diatoms, this uh, dinoflagellates. Uh, another question from Kaanyag. Ma'am, pwede po ba na yung hubs ay cost naturally sa environment? Naturally, yes. Oo naman. Actually, natural naman talaga yun siya na nagkukos. Hindi naman yun siya induced na tipong sadyain mo na magkaroon talaga ng harmful algal bloom. It just so happened that uh, contributor to that would be the nutrient-rich uh, yung runoff galing sa terrestrial ecosystem. So, gusto din naman natin no, na marami ang ang algae na meron tayo sa ecosystem kasi they are great producers. So, they are the source of primary production in the aquatic environment. But too much of that um, growth would be also harmful. So, yes, nangyayari naman yan. Natural. Pero hindi siya yung uh, ano tawag dito? Nagkakaroon ng bloom pwede magkaroon ng bloom, pero hindi siya tinatawag na harmful algal bloom. Pag harmful algal bloom, ibig sabihin yan, talagang mayroon nutrient source kung bakit sobrang madaming madami ang um, plankton o sobrang madami yung, yung dinoflagellate na nag-grow. Okay, next. Ma'am, anong buwan po nararanasan ang red tide? Ay, naku, walang buwan. No, walang Minsan hindi na siya scheduled na sige during summer lang o kaya during rainy season. Pero malakas marami during rainy season. Ano? Kasi pag rainy season, maraming run off from the terrestrial ecosystem. Minsan naman, uh, pwede din during summer season kasi nga yung intensity ng light ay mataas. So actually, hindi talaga masyadong nagbabari. Uh, on season kung saan ang mas nag-occur ang um, red tide o yung harmful algal bloom. In fact, speaking of which, magandang research area yan na malaman talaga yung pattern ng algal bloom kung kailan siya nag-occur during rainy season o wet season o kung kailan month in a year. Maganda yun na matrace siya kung yung fluctuation, yung kailan siya nag-bloom, kailan nawawala. para mas um, inform tayo, no? Ma'am, bakit po nagkaka-red tide? O, oh, yun na, na-discuss na natin kanina kung bakit nagkaka-red tide. Kasi pag nagkaroon ng algal bloom, itong mga algae na to, they produce red pigment. No, may red pigment kasi sila. So, literally, you can really see red tide. No, yung tide niya, nakikita mo talaga na pula. Kagaya nung ating uh, picture kanina. Literal, ano talaga siya? Literal na red. Diba? Sana ba yun? Yan. So, literal siya na red. Kung makikita mo yan siya sa satellite, red talaga yan yung dagat, no? Yung area kung saan there are many plankton. Do you have any other question? 
Thank you sa mga nag-question. So, habang... Ah, meron pa pala akong hindi nabasa from Fernald. Mga anong buwan po nararanasan ang rare tide? Yung nabanggit ko na din kanina. So, ay, oo, oh, oh, naulit mo pala. Naulit mo pala ang tanong. So, yun. No, hindi natin masyadong natitrace dito sa atin kung anong mga buwan talaga. So, while waiting for ano, yung iba, pag hindi pa nag-type, pwede naman mag-type mamaya. So, for now, I would like to... Uh, nawala, ah, nawala ka. Sige, sige. Uh, I would like to give you an activity. Okay, so ano bang uunahin natin? Ito. Okay, wait lang ha. Kasi uh, ipipaste ko sa inyong stream. O, oh, ayan na. Napaste ko na. Uh, click this to join the game. Yan. Sige. So, ako din, I'm gonna go to this and enter a code para maka-join. So, 4 B9 Z R So, tayo sa aquatic. Okay. So, medyo matagal mag-load dyan. Pagtsagaan nyo lang. I'll wait for you. Tinan mm -hmm. ko nga. Ano bang maganda character Ooh, ito ako sa purple yan anyone there? I'm waiting okay so I'm in I'm waiting for you nakita nyo ba yung link na sinend ko? Wala pa. Nasa na? Mag-play na kayo. Where are you? Plus, mag-start na yung ating ano. Sige, uh, Mark Leo, habang inaantay ko ang kanilang uh, magpasok na kayo doon sa game, i-click nyo lang yung uh, binigay ko na link. Bakit hindi makapasok? Click nyo lang. Click. Loading ba ang internet? Sige lang, antayin ko lang. Wala pang player na nakakapasok. Only me. Wait lang natin kasi medyo sa umpisa kasi medyo loading pa yan. Wait lang natin ha. I-click nyo lang yung link na binigay ko dyan sa ating live chat. Hintayin ko lang kayo. 
Sana may makapasok. Yay! Kaanyag is in. Congratulations! Pasok na. Dali. Para marami tayong maglalaro. Alexis Jean is in also. Mm -hmm. Tanya yung ating mga underwater characters. Yay! Jude is also in. Wow. Oh. And then also for now. Yan na. Sige pa. More, more, more. More. Kumakasampo tayo. Let's start. Hindi ka makapasok, Mark. Ulit lang, ulit. Sige lang. Antayin lang natin. Si Mark, da, uh, Mark Daven at saka si Mark Leo hindi makapasok. Sige lang. Ulitin, ulitin nyo lang. Click lang ulit. We have uh Wala na. Five players so far. Sige na. Antayin pa natin. Pasok na. Dali. Yon Nadagdagan. Queen is also in. Tayin natin yung iba ha. Wait lang kayo ha. Okay. Si Mark Klein is in. Now we have seven players connected. So six of you plus me. I hope we can have four more para sampu kayo magpiplay. Jin Jin, ulitin mo lang. Try mo lang makapasok. Medyo loading kasi talaga yan siya. Ah, kaanya, bakit dalawa na ikaw? <laughs> bakit dalawa ka na? Isa lang. Mahirapan ka niyan. Oh, by the way, aha, uh, this game is uh, won by being fast and correct. So, kailangan tama ka, tama ang sagot mo, at kailangan mabilis. Okay, bagong pasok tayo si... John Kian Ashley. Okay, so mayroon na tayong a total of nine players. Isa pa, isa pa. Oh, bakit kaya? Bakit kaya hindi sila makapasok? Sige lang, antay-antayin natin ng konti. One more, one more, ha? Para sampo. Sampo tayong maglalaro. Oh, nakapasok na si ano. Mark Daven. Pero bakit si Kaanyag, dalawa ka? Isa lang para hindi ka mahirapan na. Isa lang para uh, may panalo mo. Kasi kung dalawa-dalawa yan, namaya baka mahuli ka sa pagpindot. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me check. Okay, we're gonna do it soon. Ready na kayo. Mag-start na tayo soon. Okay, 10 players connected so far. Okay. Let's play. Yeah! 
which biome has low temperatures and permafrost? Pabilisan! The correct answer is Tundra. La! Bakit naman yung iba? Hindi nakasagot. Which biome has the driest climate? Hindi na lang ako magsagot. Kasi na nasama tuloy ako sa nauna. Which biome has the driest climate? The answer is desert. Yan. Galing. Go, go, go. Next. Which biome has the high humidity and high temperature? Climbing. Bilis. Bilis. Sagot. Sagot. Bilisan nyo. Bilisan. High ang humidity. High ang temperature. Anong sagot? It's rainforest. Yes. Yes. Go, go, go. Next question. Woohoo! Which biome is the habitat for deer, bears, small mammals, and birds? Deer, bears, small mammals, and birds. Saan dyan? Okay. Anong sagot? Correct answer is temperate forest. Hey, 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 hey. So, by what factors are biomes defined and classified? I emphasize ko yan kanina. What factors biomes are defined and classified? Go for it! Who's winning? The correct answer is climate, animal, and plant species. Next question. The two fundamental class or classifications of biomes are land biomes and Blank biomes. Hey, bilis! Bilis! Makapagsagot na. Hmm. Para tumakbo ako sa unahan. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Next question. Choose the correct order of biomes that you would see if you move from poles to equator. From North Pole papuntang equator. Ano kaya ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga biomes? Hmm. Ano sigurad? Correct answer is Arctic, Boreal, Temperate, Subtropical, and Tropical. Yes! Sino bang nauuna? Wow! Congratulations to Mark Klain uh, with 3,306 3, points followed by Jude and then John Kian Ashley. Congratulations! Oh, uh ha! -huh. Na-enjoy nyo? Ma'am, di po ako naabutan ng discussion. Oh, oh. Loading, loading. Oh, sige lang. Loading mamaya. Next tayo uli. Oh, sa mga nanalo, congratulations. Ah, uh, malakalimutan kong i-announce kanina. For the third, you will get 20. For second, 30. And for first, 50. You can choose whether it's a cell phone load, 
uh, Smart Globe TM or Gcash. So, i-chat nyo ako mamaya sa sa ano natin, Messenger para maipakita nyo sa ay masabi nyo sa akin kung ano ang inyong choice. Uh, ang saya-saya daw kasi panalo si Mark Klein. Klein. Oh, ano, nandyan pa ba kayo? Gusto nyo pa ba? Kaso yung iba, hindi daw makapasok ke. Eh. Oh, Gcash daw si Jude. Sige, mamaya na, ano, Jude. Kailangan, i, ano mo ako, i-PM mo ako para may bigay mo sa akin ng iyong number. Sana all, panalo, sabi ni Jin Jin. Ano? Kumusta naman kayo dyan? So, tingnan natin yung iba. Papakita ko sa inyo yung result ng ibang, ano, kung pang ilan kayo. Ooh. So, si Mark Klein, ng number one. Then, you have Jude, John Kian, Ashley, tapos si Kaanyag, tapos si Alexis Jean, and then si Fernald, and then si Queen, number 7 ka Queen, hindi pala nakaabot ng lecture. Tapos si Jin Jin at si Mark David. Oh, ha? Oh, ano? Nice? Very good, very good. Okay, kanina parang may nabasa akong tanong dito. Nawala na rin palang tanong. So, sige. Ako na. Ang happy naman. Yehey. Ah, sige. Do you want one more? One more game? Class? One more game? Gusto nyo pa ba? <laughs> ah, walang nagasagot. Sige, ayaw nyo na. Ayaw nyo na ata ng bago ng isa pang game. Huwag na kayo mag-away. Nag-away pa kayo dyan eh. You want more? Gusto nyo pa ba? Walang sumasagot? Naririnig nyo ba ako? Hahaha. <laughs> Ah, sige, we can have another game pero ang prices natin pare-pareho na lang sa ano ha, uh, first, second, third kasi uh, mauubos ma 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 yung ano, yung pang price ni ma'am naubos kanina sa ano eh, pero dalawang game lang din. Ah, uh, ah, uh, teka lang, 20, 20, 20 sa lahat ha, sige. Ayaw na nila, ma'am. May napanalunan na po kasi. Ayaw na nila. Ayaw nyo na. O gusto nyo pa? Pwede? Sige, isa pa. Isang game. Isang game pa tayo. Meron akong na-prepare. Wait lang.
Wait lang ha, wait lang ha. Hanapin ko lang yung aking isa pang naiprepare. Hmm. Saan ba yan? Okay, SK W. Okay, here na is the link. Okay. Are you there? Nakapasok na ba kayo? Ano na bang nakikita ninyo? Okay. So, meron na si Jude. Nandito na si John Kian. Si Kanyag, nandito na din. We have Jin Jin. Yehey, nakapasok din siya. Okay. We're waiting for more. Bilis! Pasok na! Hindi na makapasok si Fernald. Okay. Kunti pa lang. We have six players so far. Dali! Bilisan nyo! Kaya yan. We're waiting. Waiting lang kami. Oo, bago ito. Ibang questions naman. Sana kayo. 
Wala, wala na. Ayaw nyo na, mag Ayaw na maglaro nung iba. Sana yung iba. Bilis. Yun, nadagdagan din tayo. Nakapasok na rin si Fernand. So, meron na tayong 7 or 6 players. Kasama ako, di 7 na. Ready na ba kayo? Ready na? 2 minutes. Meron nang nagchat-chat sa akin sa ano. Sali. Sali na kayo ulit. O, oh, pinost ko na sa GC. Wait lang tayo ng konti ha, para marami. Mas marami, mas masaya. You know. Oh, dapat yung manalo ngayon, yung hindi pa nanalo, ha? Okay, okay, okay. Are you there yet? Are you there? There, there, there. Mhm 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 Para masaya. Just wait class ha. Tentay na natin yung iba. Gusto rin nalang sumali. Kaso talagang mahina ang internet. Oh, nagugutom na ako. Ma'am, ilan po price ng pangatlo po? Oh, 20 pesos. 20. Tumataginting na 20. <laughs> okay, wait lang kayo class ha. 3 minutes, 3 minutes. Para makapasok lang yung iba, para mas marami. Okay, tina natin. Ilan na? Ilan na players natin? 10. Ha? Ah, hindi dumami? Sampu lang. Kasi pinost ko na sa, ano natin, sa GC natin, sa Ecology, para makajoin yung iba. Wala na dagdag. In two minutes, we will start. Diyan na ba kayo? Diyan na ba kayo? Ano na tagtag? Ayun, may isa pa. Oh. oh. Meron tayong mga guest players. Manda kayo class sa laban ng umaatikabo.
I'm so excited. 30 seconds. We'll start. Sana, sana. Wala na yung iba. Ilan na tayong players? There are 11 players plus me. So, I mean 10 players plus me. That's 11. Ang konti naman. Mm -hmm. Ano bang character dito ang cutie? Oh, ang cute-cute ng ano, character ni Jinjin. Jin. Oh, so we had Kanyag. Oh, talaga naman. Oh, oh. Nakapasok na din si Mark. Ah, bakit talawa na naman yan, Mark? Isa lang? Dapat isa lang. Oh, ready na kayo? Start na tayo. Mukhang wala na rin hahabol. Start. Ready? Ready na, ready, ready. Get set. Go! Where does every uh, where does everything need to live? Huh? What does everything need to live? Ay hindi na marunong magbasa si Ma. What's the answer? Oh oh oh! Ready? It's energy. What? What? Wow wow wow! Nanguna. Someone who eats something is called blank. Someone who eats something is called blank. Is it an eater? Is it a prey? Is it a consumer? Is it a producer? My answer is consumer. Yahoo! Pahuli-huli lang ang bida. Next question. Where does the food chain start? Saan nag-uumpisa ang food chain? Plants, ants, rats, humans. Saan? 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 My answer is plants. Yahoo! Wow, wow. Next. In the food chain, what is the animal that gets eaten cold? In the food chain, what is the animal that gets eaten cold? Anong tawag sa kanya? Producer, consumer, plants, prey. My answer is prey. Good job. Bilis ah. Sino nangunguna? Okay. Where does a decomposer... Oh, what does a decomposer do? Break down dead things in the soil? Eat the soil? Grow in the sun? Eat plants? The answer is... My answer is break down dead things in the soil. Are you getting it right? Wawa naman itong iba. Lag siguro. Next. Animals in the food chain are prey, predators, both. Prey, predators, or both. Paano ang sagot? Nangingintab na ang noo ko. Pinagpapawisan na ako sa ating quiz. Hey! More questions. What is a population? Uy! Gusto ko yan. A type of animal. A number of one kind of living thing in one area. The number of animals being eaten. All the animals in the world. Population. Population. 
Ready, ready? The number of one kind of living, well, the number of one kind of living thing in one area. Wow! Queen won the game. And then, number two is Kanyag. And number three is Mark. Ay, Mark! Nakakarami ka na, Mark na! Tingnan nga natin ano ang place nung iba. Yan. Aha! Queen is the number one. Kaanyag is number two. Mark is number three. Jan Kia number four. Bahay ni Tito number five. Alexis number six. Jude number seven. Jin Jin number eight. Aha! Okay. So, congratulations everyone. Um, did you enjoy our game? Di na papa pwede magpapalit ng score. <laughs> Wala na pwede magpalit ng score. Yeah. Sige lang, next time ulit. Number 4 kasi, no? Si John Kian. Haha, sayang. Sige lang. That's okay. So, unless, ipaubaya na ni Mark sa'yo yung, ano, <laughs> na panalunan niya. Kasi siya na ipanalo sa first game kanina. Ano yung yes, ma'am, kaanyag? Tanong ba yan sa sagot? Ta sagot ba yan sa tanong ko kung nag-enjoy kayo? Thank you, ma'am. Nalaglag ako. <laughs> yes po. Kahit talo. No problem with the talo. The one, the best thing is you learn something. And you enjoy it. So, we'll have another something like this next time. Uh, I really appreciate you joining our class today. Uh, you can tell your classmates about this so they'll get encouraged to join next time. Um, I hope more can join para hindi sayang ang lecture. So, that's all for today. Meron pa ba kayong mga pahabol na tanong before I end our class? Meron pa ba? Meron pa? I'm happy that you enjoyed our game and our class. Sige. So, ang happy. Ah, happy din ako. Uh, please, you PM me sa, ano, sa messenger doon sa mga nanalo. Sana wag nang magdaan ang truck ng basura. Tagal ko sa baba eh. Ha? <laughs> Gano. Uwi na ako. Sige, Mark. Uwi ka na. Thank you, everyone. I, uh, I'd like to say keep safe and uh, take care of yourself. Thank you very much for today. I really appreciate you coming. Bye-bye for now. And uh, let me know. Give me feedback in our group chat. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.